take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Snakes, lizards, turtles, crocodilians, and birds are reptiles. Like all vertebrates, reptiles have bony skeletons that support their bodies. So, why are birds considered reptiles? Birds look very different from other reptiles, they have feathers, fly, sing complex songs, and have many other unique features. Take our lead. Many dragons had, and have, feathers on their body just like some dinosaurs and just like the birds among us. So every time you see a bird, you might think of it as a small, fluffy relative to dragons. Dragons are a kind of reptile and is often said to act a bit like a lizard. Take our lead. A member of the Avs class, i.e. a bird, has the following basic characteristics that are not shared by mammals. Feathers. Birds' bodies are covered by a number of different types of feathers. Some mammals, called monotremes, lay eggs, but monotreme eggs have softer shells, similar to those of many reptiles. Take our lead. Amniotes are a clade of tetrapod vertebrates comprising the reptiles, birds, and mammals. Amniote embryos, whether laid as eggs or carried by the female, are protected and aided by several extensive membranes. In eutherian mammals, such as humans, these membranes include the amniotic sac that surrounds the fetus. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.